So for a geoarchaeologist to know where other sites are held in the landscape, you have to know where the dirt of the right age and the dirt of the right type is held. And so behind me, you can see a big flat bench that is right next to the river, and there is a cut in the edge of the bench. So from a geoarchaeological point of view, this is really what we're looking for. We want to find those parts of the landscape that are holding on to old landforms, that is, geologic deposits that were created by some natural process. In this case, it's probably a combination of the river flooding and wind blowing sediments and maybe even gravity bringing things down the canyon walls. To understand the landscape in more detail, we not only want to map landforms like this, but we want to see what's inside them. We want to know what actually they're made of and how that relates to the changing environmental conditions all around us. So we map the landforms themselves and then we see what's inside them. And when we see what's inside them, we can understand the stratigraphy or the details of the history of how this landform was created. So this process of understanding where sites are held in the landscape first begins as a geoarchaeological problem. We have to understand where they could potentially be held. That is, where is the dirt of the right age? Where is the dirt of the right type? These are questions that have to be answered. And once we can understand that, then we can begin to zoom in and find archaeological sites of specific types and ages. So we can demonstrate the idea of the dirt of the right age here at the Cooper's Ferry site. So beside me we have some stratigraphy. This is a layer that we call lithostratigraphic unit 8. This is 6 and this is 5. And each of these has a different geochemistry. Each of them have a different age. So if I want to try to find other sites like Cooper's Ferry in the lower Salmon River Canyon, I might find these, or at least seek to find them, in the landscape as targets of my dirt of the right age kind of approach. So these have different qualities and ages. We can seek them out. And when we find them, we know that we've narrowed down our search from very old or very young kinds of deposits to exactly the right kind of age of an archeological deposit that we might be seeking.